And if I talk about the present government here, the Jagan Mohan Reddy's government, I'm very sorry to say that it is a government where no financial discipline has been kept. I'm sorry to say that today this government is under 8 lakh crore debt and no financial discipline is being maintained. And very sorry to say that central funds sent by Modi is being diverted. The welfare scheme funds are being diverted. The panchayat funds are being diverted. This is a government which works with vengeful attitude, with political intention. They try to crush the opposition. They try to see that the opposition should not come up. But I may tell Jagan Mohan Reddy, nothing is going to stop Bharatiya Janta Party. Kamal is going to come. Kamal is going to come, we have to understand. I would like to also say that law and order has crumbled down. There's no law and order. The people who are abusing law and order are scot free. And I'm also very sorry to say that religious places are being attacked. A politics of appeasement is developed. And there is no environment for business. This is a government which is anti-business. This is a government which is working with high-headedness. This is a government where no investment is coming and industries are not coming, but rather leaving the state. This is the sad plight of Andhra Pradesh. Friends, there is lack of employment. And I would like to say how employment will come. When you do not give a congenial environment, how employment is going to come? If you are believing in appeasement and if you are trying to see to it that a particular section of the society gets the benefit and rest are deprived of it, it is not a good thing in a democratic nation, in a democratic state that we have to understand. And I am very sorry to say when the new education policy talks about encouraging the regional language, here, Telugu language is being discouraged. This is something which we have to understand. This is the same way, if I talk about the central government's releases in Andhra Pradesh, before that I would like to say that scheduled caste people, scheduled tribe people, and the backward classes people, their welfare is being ignored. And a policy and politics of appeasement is, is going forward under Jagan Mohan Reddy's government that we have to understand. And if I talk about Narendra Modi's government, I would like to say with proud that in Andhra Pradesh, 27,294 crore was given in 2014-15, and now in 2022, it is 77,538 crore, which, which uh, Andhra Pradesh is getting from Government of India from our, from our beloved leader and dynamic leadership, Narendra Modi. I would like to put one statistics. In NHAI, National Highway Authority of India, last year 1 lakh crore was sanctioned and Andhra Pradesh got 29,593 crores. That is a 5% of population of the Indian population that is Andhra Pradesh got 21% of the Indian budget that is what provided by Narendra Modi ji, which we have to understand. The same way, if I talk about allegation for the poor house, for the poor, for making houses, it was 20.72 lakh houses which were allowed. And if I talk about the central institutions, I am proud to say that Modi ji gave here one all Indian of medical sciences. Modi ji gave one all Indian of technology, Indian Institute of Technology. Modi ji gave National Institute of Technology, NIT. Modi ji gave Indian Institute of Science and Education and Research, Tirupati. Modi ji gave Indian Institute of Information Technology Design and Manufacturing in Kurnool. Modi ji gave Indian Institute of Petroleum and Energy, Vishakapatnam. Modi ji gave you Girijan University in Vizianagar. 
Nagaram. The same way, if I talk about the big infrastructure under national investment pipe, national investment pipeline, 8.17 lakh crore investments have been done. So I can say, as a representative of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and a representative of Bharatiya Janata Party, that no central government gave you as much as Narendra Modi ji has given to the people of Andhra Pradesh in various sectors and schemes. But Jagan Mohan Reddy's government is a government where bureaucracy has crumbled down. Law and order is not there. Welfare schemes, funds are being diverted. There is lawlessness. And so time has come in a democratic fashion. Jagan Mohan Reddy should go and Bharatiya Shanta Party should come. YCP, Powali, BJP, Rawali. YCP, Powali, BJP, Rawali. YCP, Powali, BJP, 